Hello TV family, welcome back to Ted and Vero TV. My name is Veronica and this is my incredible husband. Hi, I'm Ted. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe and to like if you are enjoying our content. So there is a state I've been thinking about a lot lately. I mean, I've been wanting to move there, to live there, to be with the people there and that state is Texas. So this video will be about the reason why I want to move to Texas. The reason my African wife wants to be a cowgirl. Yeah, the reason why I want to be a cowgirl. Yes, that's right. You got it right. Perfect. There's a lot of cow boys in Texas and cowgirls, and I want to be one of the cowgirls anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, but on a serious note, I've really been thinking a lot about Texas. If you live in Texas, shout out to you. I have been to Texas once. When I first moved here to the United States, it was in the middle of winter mm -hmm. and we actually stayed in Texas. I remember it being so hot and I didn't even think I was in America. I remember getting off the plane and saying to myself, are we still in Ghana? But I saw a lot of white people. So I was like, no, we're not in Ghana. We are in the United States or somewhere. But it was extremely hard. And I remember seeing the houses and I'm like, oh my God, this place is so beautiful. And initially I thought that's where we'll be staying. But no, um, the program I came with, dispersed us into different places. So I ended up moving to Virginia, Richmond, Virginia to be precise. But now that I'm married with Ted, you know, living in Oregon, so from Virginia, I moved to Maryland, okay? So from Maryland, then I'm living here now in Oregon. But now that I'm living here with Ted, for some reason, my heart has been in Texas a lot. Like when I first moved here, I was excited. I mean, I didn't know how I was going to be, re I was going to receive the state or how the state was going to receive me. It's been okay. My stay here has been okay. I mean, the main reason why I'm even here is because of Ted. I'll go anywhere he goes, but my heart lately has been so much in Texas. And I'm like, we gotta move, we gotta move, we gotta move. Uh, I don't know what is it about Texas. I've only been there once, but I'm really dreaming about Texas. And I think that it's going to be such a great place for us to live. I think that it will be a great place for, to raise children, um, a great place to buy a house, a great place to, you know, to have constant sun. You know, I'm from Ghana, I need the sun. And you can say to me, oh, there's sun in California. California is too busy for me. Uh, so Texas is where my heart is at. And I'm really praying that, you know, if it's the will of God, then we will do that. Yeah, Texas is an exciting state based upon what I know about it. I know some people actually, I've had cousins that have lived in Texas and have definitely enjoyed living there. Um, we have plans mm -hmm. and dreams and aspirations for the future, just yeah. like everybody else does. Mm -hmm. But right now, our life is just kind of paving its way before mm -hmm. us and we're trusting God yes. to open up doors. And if he opens up a door to the big state of Texas, then we will certainly go. We have our eyes on it for a yeah. lot of reasons. Like my wife said, it's definitely far from being set in stone, <laughs> yeah. but it's something that we're kind of dreaming about right now. And that's part of being married and kind of looking ahead from a high vista. You know, you get up on a mountain mm -hmm. and you look out and you can see as far as the eye can see for miles. Yeah. And you might be able to say, hey, way out there, you know, that's my candle business. Mm -hmm. Way out there, that's my college education. And way out there, that's that's our house in Texas. Mm -hmm. So we're standing on that vista and we're looking out and we're kind of dreaming and hoping to be blessed with the ability and the opportunity to make these things happen. But honestly, we're both surrendered to the Lord. So whatever his will is, then we will gladly accept that. If that's to stay here in Oregon, he opens up doors here and makes it blatantly obvious that this is in fact yeah. where we're to stay, then we will definitely embrace that. But just looking at the real estate market, the real mm -hmm. estate in Oregon is actually insane. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's intense. Mm -hmm. I mean, this state, was kind of an unknown gem for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then that television show Portlandia came out and it seemed like they were just promoting Portland, Portland, Portland mm -hmm. all over the place and people just started moving here in droves. California started having some issues according to a lot of people and a lot of Californians started moving mm -hmm. north into Oregon and our real estate market just went through the roof. Yeah. So in order to get into a home or to upgrade into a bigger home in this state is just 
crazy. I mean, you yeah. have to be making serious money. Serious money to be so, able to do that. Yeah, yeah. We've looked at real estate in Texas and you can get so much more for your buck there. Yeah. Especially depending on the area. Like mm -hmm. El Paso, I know it's removed by about three hours from any major city, mm -hmm. but in El Paso, you can get a really nice home for just a fraction of yeah. the money that you would spend here on really a home that would need work. Yeah. A home that you might not necessarily be proud of. Mm -hmm. A starter home, to, put, starter it, home, to put, yeah. put it kindly. Mm -hmm. So there are all kinds of reasons, again, like I said, that we are thinking about moving to Texas. Um, but again, we're just kind of keeping our eyes open. Mm -hmm. Honestly, my heart is torn between Texas and Ghana. Yeah. I, there's just I something mean, about Africa. Yeah, I've Ghana, never been there, but Ghana is always going to be home and we, you know, we have plans on establishing our home there and eventually retire there. That is yeah. the plan to retire in Ghana yeah. and to have our, you know, wherever uh, when we have children, wherever our kids decide to live, you know, we want them to have the freedom to choose between Ghana and here and if they want their home to be in Ghana. So Ghana is our home, you know. Yeah. You know, um, being married today is so incredible that he has accepted my home so much, you know, and I love it. So Ghana is always going to be our home and we're excited with the properties that we are putting together by the grace of God, everything will come together and when yeah. that time comes, we'll share with you guys. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, in the season in which we find ourselves, like I was saying earlier, when I moved here, I was excited about Oregon. I mean, I've heard of Oregon. Um, once or twice, you know, I was excited, but since moving here, it hasn't really captured me. It's beautiful. Oh, this is a gorgeous state. When you see the waterfalls, there is a waterfall every 15 minutes driving from your it's house. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. The landscape here is gorgeous. Nature yeah. is just... This is the place where tourists come. This is a place where if you want to... You know, there is Mount Oma Falls. Outdoor sports. Outdoor sport. There is yeah. Ladera Fall. There is the Great Falls. And it's just yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Fishing, path. hunting, hiking, yes. snowboarding, skiing, mm -hmm. all of that kind of thing. So many of that stuff here in the state. And mm -hmm. we appreciate that so much. And the thought of living that actually scares me because I'm like, yeah. when I lived in Maryland, okay, I was right next to Washington, D.C. This is known for its museums, okay? Yeah. There is every sort, type of museum. The, my, so, my absolute favorite museum is the Bible Museum. The Bible Museum, I've talked yeah. about it on my Instagram. Uh -huh. I've gone there at least seven or eight times, okay? Yeah. Every time I had a chance, I went to the Bible Museums. But what I failed to do was visiting the other places in D.C. that I could have enjoy you know the learning experience of it all i could have you know it, it, it could have been a part of my learning process yeah but i failed to do that because i was in a comfort zone like oh i live here uh -huh. i'm not gonna miss it i live here yeah you know so as soon as i moved to oregon i'm like man i should have visited this place in dc yeah i should have gone here i should have done that i should have done that so, so with my wife being here now mm -hmm. actually she has that mindset and she has introduced all kinds of places mm -hmm. that I didn't even know about yeah. that were right in my backyard. So mm -hmm. actually Oregon has been opening up for both of us. Yeah. We're discovering Oregon. Mm -hmm. Oregon does have a lot to offer. Don't get us wrong. It really does. It's a temperate climate. Yeah. Uh, my family is here. Yeah, and family. that is mm -hmm. obviously a huge, huge reason. That is a big reason. Yeah, yeah. huge. So, I mean, there are so many reasons that it would be just wonderful if we could set our stakes in deep um, for the prolonged future here in Oregon. But all we're saying is right now we're keeping our options open mm -hmm. and we're going to keep you tuned on what we decide to do. There oh. may be a mm -hmm. major move in the future. Yeah, and we'll take the camera along with us and show you guys every step of the way what we are doing in the summer we tend to do a lot of vlogs in the summer yeah so in the summer you'll be seeing a lot of vlogs because it's warmer and we we are able to go places because i hate the cold i mean <laughs> i can deal with it but yeah child, listen yeah it's too cold in the state yeah but it's it's exciting to just have dreams and to have hope and that is one thing about this channel that we want to we want you to have always never give up on your dreams yeah if there is something that you desire to do never give up on uh -huh. it keep dreaming yeah. like hold on to it like a child like yeah whoo, and it's man. never too late either it's like never too my late, wife yes. was saying about being in dc she was in this little comfort zone yeah and so she didn't explore that's an analogy for all of our lives yeah. 
whether you're talking about exploring the state that you live in or not, it's an analogy for your life mm -hmm. because you get into these comfort zones, you get into these little boxes mm -hmm. and you are so used to the four walls of that yeah. box that you don't want to try mm -hmm. to do anything. Yeah. And you don't do anything. Yeah. You actually end up squandering your life. You end up mm -hmm. wasting it away. Mm -hmm. You end up letting time pass you by. Mm -hmm. And at best, you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, I'd like to do this, this, and this, mm -hmm. but I've got time. Yeah. I've got time. I'm in my 20s. I've got time. And then all of a sudden, you're in your 30s. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, okay, well, I think I still have time. I'll start looking into this. But then you might look into it a little bit and you don't follow through. Before you, before you know it, you turn around and you're 40 yeah. and you're 50. And it's like, wow, where did my life go? Where did go? time go? Yeah. So wherever you are right now, if you have dreams, if you have aspirations, mm -hmm. school, pursuing a hobby, um, gaining a skill, moving somewhere, uh, reaching out to somebody that you want to reconcile with mm -hmm. because you had a falling out in the past. Yeah. You don't want to live with regret mm -hmm. of any kind. So stand on that mountain that mm -hmm. we were painting for you. Um, look out, see what your, what your vista is offering to you mm -hmm. and set a course, decide what it is you want and start going for it one yeah. step at a time. You might not be able to get very far in just a few days or a week, but you'd be amazed how far you can get in a year. Yeah. But definitely don't give up on your dreams. Hold on to them. Just aspire to be great. Every single day I wake up, I'm like, whoa, what can I be today? I can be great. Even when I'm tired on days where I'm exhausted, I'm like, I can't keep going today. Mm -hmm. Then I remind myself of that 13 bedroom house in Texas. Yeah. And I remember that landscape and I can envision yeah. my kids running around playing on yeah. endless acres of land. And that gives me the courage to wake up and keep on grinding. Find ways to keep inspired. <laughs> yes. You know, there's a saying, and it's so true, that small people discuss other people, yeah. but great people discuss ideas. Mm -hmm. So don't waste your time getting caught up in gossip, this day-to-day yeah. -day waste of time mm -hmm. stuff that people do yeah. day in and day out in their small little tiny pocket of awareness that they've cornered themselves into. Mm -hmm. Discuss ideas, dream big, and keep your options open and allow God to lead you into uh, um, an adventure that you could never truly even plan on your own. Mm -hmm. So keep trusting God, don't give up. Like I said earlier, don't give up on your dreams. Keep hope alive, stay positive, and keep enjoying our content. Thank you so much for joining us today on Ted and Vero TV. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to share this video with friends and family. Again, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Maybe we'll be seeing you in Texas soon. Maybe. Bye-bye. <laughs>